Okay, fine. Here, have some chips. Chips. Yeah. Ah, chips. chips. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Welcome to reacting to true story, scary animations part seventeen. We're trying to get in the Halloween spirit, so what? What did you like? Ow! 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 Stop! We're trying to get in the Halloween spirit, doing scary things, some scary pranks, and yeah. But comment down below your favorite snack. I know yours is chips. <laughs> Shut up. We did a video on Sarah's channel, so please be sure to check it out, show it some support, and subscribe to Sarah, cause all the cool kids are doing it. Click it! And please do the get that out of here on the like button, and let's try to get 100,000. If we do, I will prank her again. No! But let's go ahead and get into these true stories, scary animations, part 17. Are you ready? Ooh. Let's do it. Let's go! Not everything we see in sleep paralysis is a hallucination. My name is Amber, and ever since my childhood, I've experienced sleep paralysis a lot more than the average person. That's and let's just say, it's one of the most unpleasant things you can experience. Duh. Since childhood, I've always had vivid hallucinations when I was experiencing sleep paralysis, and they've always scared me, even to this day. This story is one of the most terrifying things that have and ever will happen to me in my lifetime. Dang, your eyebrows on point though. Eh. It all started in late January. I had just moved into this new house in a small village on the island of Hawaii. My house is near a deep pond and I got it for a good deal because it was supposedly haunted and no one else wanted to purchase it. Uh, that's but I never really believed in the paranormal or anything like that. So I just saw the good deal on a decent sized house and took it. No, girl. A few weeks after buying the house, a big snowstorm hit one night, causing the power to go out and in Hawaii? In. I couldn't see a thing, so I decided that I would head to bed early and get an early start on unloading boxes the next day. Don't investigate. I hopped into bed, pulled my blankets over me, and fell asleep in the pitch black room. <laughs> I woke up to the noise of tapping at my window. No! Don't look- oh! oh my gosh. I tried to get up but realized I couldn't move at all. What is that? Sleep paralysis took over my whole body. The strange boy kept staring at me. Oh His eyes were pitch black as if he had no pupils. He had a wide, inhuman, devilish grin, and his teeth, his teeth were huge. I was terrified and wanted to scream, but I couldn't and was forced to watch him. Oh my gosh. I kept telling my mind that it was just a hallucination, but it was a lot more vivid than any other hallucination that I had ever had. Oh heck no. Then in a split second, he was gone. <gasps> he was gone. I calmed myself, thinking it's all gonna be over soon now. My fear started to rise when I heard the noise of clanging in the kitchen. No. Did he break into my house? I was getting paranoid. I couldn't move. I strained my eyes to try to see the bedroom door through the darkness and I could see something. A figure standing on the other side of my bedroom door. Oh, He slowly opened the door. It was the boy. RUN! I could hear every footstep he made. He continued to creep towards my bed, and I could see his devilish grin from the corner of my eye. Ew. He just Fresh stood there for minutes, and it was lasting longer than any sleep paralysis I had ever experienced. I felt that I was about to die. I was just praying it would be over soon. My prayers were answered, it's over. and I was finally able to move again. The boy was gone. The next morning when I woke up, I felt something strange as I walked on the carpet. The carpet was soaking <gasps> wet. And at that point, it hit me. Was it really a hallucination? Or did someone actually come into my room last night? I shared this incident with some of the neighbors, and it turns out there was a spooky story about the pond near my new house. Wow. Back in 1947, a group of kids were playing on the banks of the pond, 
One boy accidentally tripped over a log and fell into the water. Before any of the other children could react, the boy sank beneath the water surface. For a few moments, they waited for him to resurface, but there was no sign of him. Horrified, they ran back to the village to get help. Some local men came as fast as they could and dived into the pond, searching for the young boy. They were terrified by what they found. The boy was sitting on a rock at the very bottom of the pond. His arms were hanging down by his sides and his body was swaying back and forth with the currents. What? His eyes were wide and his mouth was hanging open, but he was dead in the water. The eerie sight sent shivers down the spines of the men who had dived in to save him. Seriously? They were deeply disturbed and said it was such an unusual way to drown. It was as if the boy had calmly sat down on the rock and waited there to die. Ever since, bizarre rumors began to spread around the area. Many villagers believed that the ghost of the drowned boy lurked beneath the deep waters of the pond. They said that at night, he would come to the surface cold, wet, and shivering. His icy hands clutching at unsuspecting victims and trying to pull them into his watery grave. According to the rumors, he was trapped in this world by accident. And the only way he could escape was to find someone else to take his place at the bottom of the pond. What? As I mentioned before, I don't really believe in the paranormal, but that creeped the hell out of me. After that, I put my house up for sale as I am no longer able to sleep peacefully in this house. Mm -hmm. A strange, eerie feeling always keeps me restless. But unfortunately, so far, no one has come to view the house or made any offers as it was famous for being haunted. Yeah, they're not my crazy. My current situation does not allow me to rent a house, so I am stuck here. I just hope I am able to get out of this place. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no! Jeez! Yeah, when you first hear somebody say, oh yeah, nobody's really bought in this house, don't buy the house? There's a reason nobody's been buying the house, dang! You ask why? Mm-hmm. If you ever plan on getting a house or if you plan on moving, do your research on the place that you're moving to. That way you don't end up like this girl. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna have some weird creepy boy coming into your room with the, you know, he took his shoes off and there's just like wet and soaked and, you know, he done messed up your carpet. That's so, just rude. That's rude. That one was pretty creepy. I, I give that one an eight. That was like an eight, eight and a half. I give it a nine. When he first popped up, I was like, ah! Oh, yeah. I was that oh, face. Those goosebumps were real. I was really like, Ugh. That was a real scream. Yeah, seriously. That was just, oh, disturbing. Wow. Comment down below what you give that video on a scale of one to poop your pants. I know one of y'all done pooped your pants on that one. That, or, that was scary. Or just farted. Okay, let's go ahead and check out another one. Uh, I'm scared. You're scared? You're hungry? Dang. Mm. <laughs> You're probably scared and hungry because those chips, you want some Back more chips? Up, no! <laughs> Let's do it. The unexpected phone call. Ooh. <gasps> I don't know why it's scary, that scared me. Really? That ring is like trippy. Mom? Claire? My heart raced. As I listened to the silence, praying that it hadn't been my mind. What? It couldn't be Claire. That's impossible. It had been nearly 20 years now. Mom, is that really you? It's the accent. I swallowed. There was just no way. Whoever this is, I want you to know it's not funny. Mom. I swear it's me. Nobody's laughing. I've been trying to find you and dad for so long. Please, you need to come pick me up. Mm -mm. Who's that? I cupped the receiver. My whole body was shaking. It's her. Give me that. He stared at the receiver for what felt like forever. Can't be. Hello? Dad? Claire? Dad? Please, you need to come and get me. Nope. I know what happened, and I forgive you. 
I really forgive you. Just let me come home. Forgive him. For Claire, that. where are you? I'm... It's, it's dark. dark. There's, There's these, these holes, holes in my stomach and... I just, I just want, want to come, come home. home. They murder her. I'm so scared, Dad. Why would they murder her? David moved the phone away from his ear and placed it slowly on the landline dock, ending okay. the call. This only made the shakes worse. My heart was pounding. It, it's not her. It wasn't Claire. How do you know? It couldn't be. We buried her in the backyard 20 years ago. We'd made sure she was dead gone. That child had never done any good. And that's exactly what scared me the most. They did kill her! If it wasn't Claire, then who knows? <laughs> the ring. You scared me. Hello? Okay, that got me. Oh my gosh, that terrified me, guys. That was a legit jump scare. If that scared you too, just like comment down below, let me know. Mr. and Mrs. David had killed their daughter. I told and you. ever since that moment, her death had haunted them. Those imaginary calls made them so paranoid that they confessed to the police after 20 years of committing that crime. They were both sentenced to What? I told you they killed her. Jeez. I told you. Gee, what? What kind of story? Man, this is based on a true story? Dang, that's scary. I think that was a poop your pants. That was definitely a poop your pants. I mean, I, I know I did, but <laughs> did you? <laughs> Dang. But comment down below how scary that one was for you. J just comment down below, poop your pants. <laughs> Woo! That's gonna do it for reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part 17. Yeah. It was scary. That was scary. That was scary. But at some point, we're gonna have to do Part 18. <laughs> if you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. And check out the video we did on Sarah's channel. It's the first link in the description down below. Just go ahead and click it and show us some support. Click it! And got some dang Matt Smith merch. Be sure to get some links down below. Yeah. But hey, when you guys are out there, remember to stay safe and hashtag don't investigate because it's not worth it. But that's going to do it. And we're going to see you guys in the next one. Until then.